Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. As I am living in my 50s and literally moving myself into a new type of position in the military and in pointing in directions that they need to be aware of and they need to be able to stay with and continue with as I move on to the next job, then move on to the next project, move on to the next section, section of pointing, I'm actually not making a living yet. You see, every person in the world, as I've discussed in previous audio casts and previous little videos, makes a living and makes an income and makes a revenue for their life or their business in a different way. They get paid. There's so many different ways that a person get paid in this world, it's not even funny. But here's what I don't like, and here's what I don't find funny. That tonight, I went to bed early because of either marvelously having my food tainted by people who are trying to give me free food, which is almost an indication. When someone tries to offer you free food today, you're almost looking at them going, okay, what did you do with the food? And then I have to pray over it, then I have to kind of stare over it, then I have to get, check with my angels to go, did they monkey my food? And if they monkeyed it, sometimes God's okay with it because he wants me to sleep soundly. But the reality is what I'm talking about is that in life we have moments of time to speak the truth. And tonight, I was woken up by some monstrous woman yelling in hello and then dropping off food for me. I didn't ask her to pick up food for me. I don't want food dropped off for me from a total black stranger. No offense, she was an African-American woman and I don't know her. And for some reason, she just thought in her matronly way that she was going to wake up a homeless man and leave him food. She said, I brought you supper. I didn't ask her to bring me supper. I didn't order any supper from her. And most definitely, I told her, please don't leave it here because I have allergies. And the answer is no. But she still didn't listen. She was matronly or she wasn't willing to listen. And she didn't think one thing about my rights in that moment. That my right was to stay sleeping and not be woken by her. I appreciated that she woke me because I would have miffed and pissed off and probably thrown the fucking thing and kicked it out the door if I had woken up and found it there. But the reality is that she was bringing me a box of food and a, bro and a bottle of water, which I don't need at, at that moment of time because I'm just getting up and I'm about to take my urine time and that's the truth. But what I'm upset about is that that woman who I don't know as a total stranger thought that she was going to decide for me my food. Does that make sense to you? In the world of stranger dangers, especially around Halloween time when we teach children about this, of how to handle trick-or-treating and how to do things with people we don't know and don't meet, we've changed that whole scene. But my point is, in a time of COVID, do we really take food from total strangers? In a time of pandemic, do we really actually access somebody else's angels in a way and trust them with our food? I don't know that woman from Adam. I don't know anything about her life, her preferences, her desires for food, her anything. And I don't want to be played with. I don't mean monkeyed with. I don't want my food monkeyed with. And I've had plenty of that from people who presume that the food that they're trying to provide me is safe. We don't know that. For all I know, she could have walked into a restaurant a week ago and said, I'm going to give a man a homeless meal. Can you give me one? She kept it in her refrigerator or she didn't, and she's leaving it for me. And I'm not trying to be facetious by any means, and I'm not trying to be ungrateful. But if you're trying to help someone with their food in that moment of time, if you want to wake me up to do that, that's a risk to you and not to mine. But my point is simply say, what can I get you to eat? Have you had something to eat today? Ask the question. Be a host or hostess and ask the question. Marvelously said, it looks like you might be a traveling man. It looks like you might be someone in struggle. And I'm just wondering, have you had a chance to eat this evening? If you haven't had a chance to eat this evening, I'd really like to help you with that. Would you mind telling me about your interests or your preferences from any restaurant around this community that I might be able to pick some food up for you or help you walk down there and get some food for you? Now, that's what a good person of God does. A person of Satan makes a presumption. A person of Satan lies to a restaurant. A person of Satan presumes that they have the right to provide someone they don't even know food. 